Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, your man from Movie Picks, and here we are in part five of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. In this session, we want to talk about effects and adding special effects to your movie. Although not all special effects are disruptive, not all special effects are going to be big and epic. You know, some of them are going to be a little more subtle. But let's take a look at our effects, and we're just going to select a clip on our timeline. And we'll go over to the right-hand side to the toolbar on the right and click on, believe it or not, the FX button. These are effects. We got about 90 of them available here. The number is a little bit different on a Mac. If you know what effect you want, you can type it right in the search box and it will do a real time search for you. Or you can click on the video effects button at the top and select a particular category, advanced adjustments, artistic 16 different categories of effects. The artistics are ways to add a gradation or a color grade to your movie to give it a particular quality or style. And that's a category Adobe has spent the most time working on in this particular version of the program. So some very interesting effects in there. But let's take a look at how to add and then modify an effect. So I'm going to select the effects at the top here, video effects, and go to the category of stylize. And from here, I'm going to select find edges and drag the Find Edges effect down onto my clip on the timeline. There's the effect applied. You notice that when I add an effect to a clip on my timeline, automatically the effects control panel opens here on the right. And here I can do some modification to the effect. If this panel is closed, just make sure that you've selected the clip on your timeline that you want to apply or modify or can customize the effect to. Select that on your timeline, go over to the effects button with a little pencil on it. And that will open up the effects controls panel. In this particular effect, we have the option to blend with original. And by moving this little slider, I can control how much color and how much reality creeps into our find edges effect. Most of the time you'll make your adjustments right on the effects control panel, but let's delete this effect by clicking on the little trash can here. And we'll try a different effect. I'm going to go back here to the effects panel and type in crop. And we'll drag the crop effect down onto our clip. Notice that unlike in, say, a program like Photoshop, cropping does not change the aspect ratio of the project itself. It only changes what shows in the window. So crop is partially applied here. In other words, we can see that there's a window sort of cut in the middle of our video frame. It's not going to change the shape or the size of the video frame itself, only your video within the frame. Now with crop, I could make my changes simply by opening up any one of these adjustments for left, top, right, or bottom, and then using the slider to create my crop. I could hover over any one of these numbers, click and drag, and that would change the position of my crop. Or I can actually select the word crop here or the listing for crop on the effects control panel. And when I do notice that I get a nice frame around the outside of my video and I can actually drag my crop effect to different shapes just by actually dragging on the clip or on these corner handles here on the video. Pretty cool, huh? There are, by the way, Audio effects in addition to video effects. If I just go up here to the video effects listing at the top of the panel and select audio effects, you see we have a number of categories here. If I select show all, you can see that there are 22 of them. And these can do things like there's a notch control for getting rid of certain sounds. There are special effects in there for changing the sound of your video, changing the sound of a voice, adding an echo effect. Those kind of things are all available here in the audio effects panel. So audio and video effects, they both follow the same basic principle. Once you apply them to the video or to the video clip, you can go over to the effects control panel and then modify them or customize them for your particular need. Now in our next session, we're going to take a look at keyframing, which is a more advanced way to use the effects control panel and a way to create certain animation and certain high level effects to really do some cool things to your video and to your photos. That's coming up in part six of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements.